Hi Jens, it's your girl Ambra. Um, I just finished this tutorial earlier today and then I went out with me and the boys, went to Red Robin. That was their restaurant of choice. I did what I could to keep it healthy. But nonetheless, um, I made a couple errands, rent, made a couple. Mm. Ran a couple errands um, while I was out and I happened to stumble into a Rite Aid. And we all know those who are makeup enthusiasts, such as myself, you go in there for your Q-tips and your shampoos, and then, oh, the makeup section, and then you lose your goddamn mind. So I didn't go crazy, but I just wanted to come on, and a lot of people um, that follow me, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, or even comment as subscribers on my YouTube channel, always ask what drugstore products that I buy. So, um... In lieu of that, I am gonna do this haul. So, if you are interested in what items I like to purchase from your local drugstore, keep watching. All right, Jim, let's just jump right into it. Um, one thing is for certain, I always stock up on my makeup removal wipes. I know you can go to MAC and you can get a nice little pack of them for double digit dollars, I don't know. But I just find that the makeup wipes that I get from your local Rite Aid or Walgreens does the job perfectly rather than use a whole lot of facial um, scrubs and soaps um, to remove your makeup I always use a wipe first and typically I use Neutrogena but these were on sale let's just keep it 100 and these are the L'Oreal Paris Ideal Clean and what I liked about it is that it said best of beauty award for Allure magazine and I just felt like if it's getting rave reviews why not try it and it was on sale <laughs> so nonetheless it says all skin types, which I like. Um, makeup removing toilets. Um, gently removes makeup, deeply cleanse. So what I like about this is that they say that they're ultra soft, gently yet effectively removes all traces of makeup. So I'm gonna try, keep you posted, let you know if they truly stand up to what they claim they do. Next, I, what did I get? A Wet n Wild Cold Crayon. And this is in the color 607A, which is called Calling Your Bluff. And I primarily got this pencil because I do like to place a white eyeliner um, to really open up my eyes when I'm not always smoking it out. But I felt like the white against my complexion was just too stark and I wanted something more flesh tone um, for the inner part of my lower lash line, my waterline. So I'm going to try this one. It was 99 cents. I've never been disappointed with any Wet n Wild products, so I figured why not give this a try. And what I like about it that it's cold, because I don't typically like using like traditional pencil pencils. If that makes sense, like I like the the twist um, because I felt like these kind of pencils um, with the wood around dries them out. It just seems like a really dry product. But what I like most about the Wet n Wild is that you can kind of warm them up and uh, they glide on really seamlessly. In lieu of eyeliner, um, as you know in my other tutorials, I use L'Oreal's Infallible Never Fail Black Liner and it's so creamy and it glides on seamlessly. So I was like, I need to get more colors and just see how I can incorporate them in some of the looks I like to play with. So this right here is in the color True Teal and this one's really pretty. But just like the black one, soft and smooth glide. I can't remember the price on this one, but it says it's up to 16 hour wear. So instead of spending X amount of dollars on a Pro Longwear liner from MAC or, I don't know, you go into Sephora and you get other name brand. I mean, I, I really feel like the best all day wear has been this L'Oreal Infallible. So I highly suggest it and think you should, you know, try it too. All right, moving right along. Lipsticks. I already have a couple of these, but I'm obsessed with a matte lip. Like I rarely do a satin finish or a shine, unless it's a lip gloss and I'm just feeling funky. But um, these are the Maybelline, what are they? These are the Maybelline mattes. I'm sure there's like, like a marketing twist to this, but nonetheless, I got Mesmerizing Magenta and Craving Coral. And this is because, and I actually mentioned in the tutorial for this look that I'm wearing today, 
I have a problem with wearing dark lips all year round. And I really need to branch out into using brighter colors in the spring and summer. Like, wear for the season you're in. So I said, let's start here before I really like go crazy and, you know, MAC and Michael Kors, I mean Michael Kors, um, Marc Jacobs and, you know, all those other higher end products because I have loved the Maybelline matte finishes. I have a couple other ones in more neutral tones. So this is eight, oh Lord, 685 Craving Coral. And this is more of like an orange against my complexion. It's not so much coral in my opinion, but it's bright. It's not dark. It's not what I'm wearing today. <laughs> or, you know, and this one's magenta. What is it called? Mesmerizing magenta. And I just felt like, can you see that? Really pretty, really pretty fuchsia color. So I got those two lipsticks. The other items that I got, not that I needed them, but I'm pretty much obsessed with mascara. Anything that's gonna volumize, plump, spread, <laughs> lay them out. <laughs> So, and this one I've heard a lot about just from watching YouTube and other people's reviews. So I wanted to try it out myself. And this is the L'Oreal Miss Magna, Mag Manga. Oh, that's weird. So Voluminous 360 Fluxor Brush Maximizes, Amplifies. So this little number came home with me today. And I typically use Maybelline store brand mascaras. So this one's gonna be new for me, but I did grab another Maybelline while I was there. And this is the Plump Up Colossal. I used this like crazy last year and realized I didn't have a replacement. So I grabbed me another one here. What I like about this one is that it does plump up the eyelash and really maximizes every single lash to be combed through this wand. Um, and I just find that it really brings like life. Like I could do my entire eye and put on other mascaras, but it doesn't lift and separate and really makes it seem like I have a really full lash like this mascara. And of course I get this in glam black and this is the number 214. I like it a lot. Next I got the Baby Skin by Maybelline. The Get Poreless Smooth, smooth Looking Skin. Again, I've seen this in other reviews and I, at this point, have been looking for a really nice primer. I went on ahead and invested in the Smashbox Primer Water, and I am liking it. And I speak about that in my April phase. Um, I also use my Becca, but I just feel like it's almost too sticky. And then I feel like I get residue. So I typically try to only use it in my T-zone area. And then, you know, you have your The Poreless Professional from um, benefits, but it becomes costly and I've been using my little sample. So I've heard really great things about it. I'm gonna try it out. If you can avoid me from having to spend 20 plus bucks on a primer and this does the job and does it well, then I'll primarily start using this one as a, um, to even out my skin texture and to really, you know, decrease the look of pores because I see them in my selfies. I don't know about you but I see my pores and they drive me crazy. So I'll keep you posted on this one. And last but not, oh no, I have a couple more things. So next I have, I just grabbed me some Ardell lashes. Um, I typically use Wispy is what I have on today. I just feel like it really lifts and gives me the drama that I like to wear on a normal basis. But I've heard about the Demi's. It's not a new concept, but I've invested so much in my Wispies and stocked up that I wanted to try something else um, as well from Ardell's and I do use Coco Lashes on a more higher scale price point. I mean, it's $6.99. It's not like House of Lashes. It's like 20 bucks. But, um, nonetheless, I do like Ardell's. I feel like they have a really great product. I love that I can go to my local variety and then grab them. Um, I typically like to go to Sally's because they're a little bit cheaper and I have a Sally's card. But when Rite Aid has their specials and their sales, I try to, you know, stock up as well. So I grabbed me some Demi's and I'm going to try these out tomorrow. But what I love about Ardell's is that they have this clear band rather than those thick black ones because I feel like they kind of lay on my eye rather like the clear ones are a little bit more flexible and it bends with my natural lid. I just, I like that. So, um, and it says natural. So, why not? 
And last but not least, I have jumped on board. This, my lovies, is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. Now, why am I grabbing another foundation? We've talked about foundation literally in all my tutorials. I have mixed, I have tried, I have reached the mountaintops, but I like foundation, so I grabbed another one. And it says Pro Matte, so you know I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go on that one as well. And this is in the color 112, which is the darkest, which is Coca, Coco. Why did I say Coca? Um, and what I like about it is the back, just all the details. It says that it's a demi matte finish. It's 24 hour wear. It's medium coverage, which most likely you probably could build build up on that. And it's really air light as far as the texture. So I'm really gonna like that one. What I love about my NARS is that it's so weightless. So if you can come out with great matte finish at a drugstore price, what? And so many people have said so many things about it. I, I mean, not for my complexion, so I'd be really excited to do a review on this one and try this one out, and I may do that tomorrow. Who knows? But sealed, safe. They did have the powder, but you know how you start grabbing stuff at the at the Rite Aid or your Walgreens, and you're like, whoo, how much damage have I already made? Maybe I should put a few things back. So I did an edit, as most people do in their shopping cart, and I decided that I have enough setting powders, I'll go back and get it if I really like the foundation. So that was my run to Rite Aid, completely not on my errands to do list, but it happens to the best of us. And if you would like me to try out any of these products on film and give you some feedback or review it in general, just let me know in the comment box below. Please like it if you like the video, share it if you want the world to know, and subscribe if you want to stay connected with me on a regular basis. So until our next video, gems, shine bright. Bye.